identified in me. I'm worried by where I'm going. That, that, that is the most important thing. I'm not talking about, I'm not worried but down here. I'm worried by where I want to go. That is the most important thing. So, with all the pressure, please, Mweshimiwa. Please, welcome. Thank you. Um, uh, I'm really wondering whether to show or to do what God is telling me to do to bless your heart. Sit, have a seat. Everybody can take a seat. <laughs> A few things that I need to uh, let you know. My name is Thomas Kwaka Omolo, better known as Big Ted. And uh, um, I came to America two years ago. And our first meeting, I remember, was actually here in Seattle, where we came with uh, the minister, uh, Alfred um, Tua, uh, the CS for tourism. Then he was uh, the minister for foreign affairs. And we did it down there uh, next to Tamo, Tamo's. Uh, I've got the good news and I've got the bad news. It depends with where you're seated. Uh, I started the bad news. The bad news is uh, I've been recalled to go back to Kenya. So I'm no longer your consular general. As of one month ago, um, somebody else will be sent to you to come and serve. The good news is uh, that you still have God. Yeah. And if you have God, that's all you need. Um, you know, God has given men things to keep in trust for other people. Not that he cannot do it. He's just given people to give in trust for other people. And um, this is actually my last Sunday in Seattle. Oh. And uh, when Bishop Jenga told me to come, we've been talking about doing other things in Kenya with him. I said, you know, I'll take it up. I'll come. Um, I've thrown the whole city into a mess because now I know my other wazers are busy trying to see what they can do for me today, today the night, then tomorrow in the morning I have to call you service at 8, then I have a 10 o'clock service, and then I have a 2 o'clock service, and then I have a 4 o'clock with Eric. Eric is my brother from Kenya. Eric, I was telling some people about you two days ago, and this is how I sell Eric. I say many of you have mothers in Kenya. In fact, this is what statistics are showing us, that the most amount of money sent to Kenya every month or every day is sent by women, number one. Number two is sent to mothers, children, siblings, and then uh, it's sent to the Musha Musha Kabisa is Waze. All right? And every month, most of the money, some people are saying, oh, let's, let's boycott, let's not send money to Kenya. I tell them that is being stupid because the money you send, you send to your mother to help her. You don't send it to the government. So you cannot say, So that's number two. Number three, this is what I say, is that every month, most of the money you send, the highest amount of money it goes to social needs. It pays for health. It pays, pays for education. It pays for upkeep. Now, this is how I sell Eric. I sell Eric as Eric has an investment option whereby he gives you and you buy a car, but he manages the car for you in Kenya. He has leasing. So people lease from Eric, but he sends the money to an account. So account in Mamayako. So end month, but pesa Kenya, Eric anatuma your pesa kwa kwa account. And in the future, I am sure they'll develop a program whereby the money can actually pay for various things. It can pay for people's houses, it can pay for land, it can pay for investment and health and things like that. Um, I had to throw that in um, because it's important. You know, many times we are afraid as Kenyans to talk about money and prosperity. As if talking about poverty is good. You know? So we are afraid kukuambia vile utajenga pesa, like nobody tells you how they make money. In fact, you remember Kenya, to report to the Hama Usiku. What was your net TV? Oh, Hama Usionashi Usifu. Fuga Blango, Fuga Blango. Was your net on a sofa set? No, that is a poverty mentality, my friend. Those are things which are only disturbing you, not disturbing everybody else. These days, everybody has a TV in the house. See, Lazima to quit the quit by Yako to Nanua to let Nataka. I want to share with you guys what's in my heart. What's in my heart is spiritual. Bishop Jenga, how many things do you do? Because every time I speak to you, there is a new thing you're doing. 
But the Bible speaks about something. The Bible says that God rejoices to see the work begin. That is God's joy. When you have enough faith in him to start something, he's happy. And this is my saying. I say if it's God's will, then it is God's bill. It is not about you. Your vision is not big enough for what God wants to do. The Bible says that nobody has seen, nor he has had what God has prepared. Now, can it be that God has prepared something for you, but you are the reason God cannot use you because macho yako hayoni. Mimi ni kijana wa mtaani. God blessed me to make me an ambassador. I never asked for this job. You can write it down, you can tell you, I never asked to be at the ambassador. I've only been here for two years, now I'm going back home. And I've been talking to my friends Jeff and uh, to Eric. Eric also just spoke over my life. I don't know, I haven't told you in Jenga I'm going back home um, and everything. Now, I don't know what's ahead, but I know God is ahead of me. Quickly, I want to share with you guys something very, very quickly. I don't know if I was meant to do this, but yes, yes, I was. In 2 Kings, there's a story about a woman. And this woman had no child. And a man of God was in the area. And what she said, she told the husband, you know what, this guy, let us build a place. That this guy, whenever he comes around, he can be doing what? He can be sleeping. Do you know that story? Have you read that story? I need you guys to learn how to read that story. Okay, and let me tell you, Christians are the laziest people in the world because salvation is free. So you never work for anything. Like in Lazima, you stop being lazy. Lazima, I'm sorry. Okay, you must read the word because the only thing that God respects and honors is His word. The Bible says that He has honored the word above His name. So the only thing you can use with God is His word, and the only thing you'll use against Satan is God's word. Hatambuki to ingine. Because you're not speaking the language the guy understands. Anyway, 2 Kings 4. The lady says, let us build a place. And I want to encourage you, Bishop Njanga, because you have, that's what the first thing you've done today. We've gone and prayed over that place. That is the first thing we must do with anything that God gives us. Declare an altar, declare a place, and give it back to God. That's the first thing he said. And the Bible says that this lady came and this man of, man, man of God came and he would be there. And one day when he was praying, he says, there is something this lady wants. And he asked her, what do you want? And it goes on, it goes on, and then says, I want a child. And he tells her, you know what? A time like this next year, you'll have a child. How many times do you look at your circumstance and you don't believe that God can actually speak over your life. It means the God you trust is just useless. The God who I serve is able to do a measure more than I can even think about. The problem with you, you're trying to reason it out. That's the reason why you're trying to reason. How will God do this? How will it do? You're trying to reason it out. That's why God cannot be able to move because he doesn't move with the wisdom of man. And then, next year, they get a child. And the Bible says the child grows. And then it says one day, they get word, they were out in the field, that the child has done what? And the husband says, run, go and find out what's going on. And she runs home. And she goes and holds the boy. Number two, Bishop, hold your dream to God. Hold your dream to God. And then it goes on and it says, the husband sends a servant to come. And the servant runs in and asks him, what is happening? The answer is dangerous. I wish you had your Bibles. The woman says, everything is okay. Bishop Jenga, no 
what answer to give to people who have nothing to do with your dream? Don't bother yourself trying to explain to people who God has not given the dream of the driving school. In fact, who is fighting you? What stories are those? God didn't give them the dream. God gave you. That's why they can't understand what you're doing. You're busy trying to explain to people who, whose dreams are dead about yours. That is the reason why I'm sorry some of you, your age mates are still in Kenya wallowing in poverty. Do you know why? They can't dream beyond home. And you're busy trying to explain to them at your, you know, this driving school, you know me, I'm a doctor. Uh, know who to tell what. She said, everything is okay. Give them, don't give them fodder to go discuss, because we're not going to discuss quite quarter. And it goes the next thing that the woman says, sends word, sends a servant, and the servant runs to the man of God who's preaching somewhere. The servant, the man of God sees the man coming and he asks, is there a problem? And he says, the woman is calling you. And quickly, the man of God says, no, I will send a servant with the word to come. And the woman says, no way. You come yourself. Yes. Bishop Njenga, remember, there comes a time, there was, which you tell God, me well and attack asim to amungu. Because we are so used to men of God praying for us and everything. So we want to come every time. Nyombe, nyombe, apana. Sometimes it's you to go fight with God, not wait for people to come to you. And that's the problem. That is the problem. Unambia mungu apana, ni wewe le sasa, wewe shuka apa. Apana, ustume mtu, shuka apa. And any time we're praying, I tell people, I won't pray for you. He will wear in a mop. Because I'm not there. I don't understand the pain of giving birth to this thing. You have given birth to someone and you're busy trying to tell. No. And that's why I call Christians lazy. Because and we're just being sweet. Oh God, oh God. Ya America. Akuna. Where I come from, Mama Luo, we have a saying which says, Obongo Nyakalaga. It cannot be translated because it means this God who fight and fight and destroy. Because if I say it in English, it's too polite. Shetani cannot. Shetani is in the Simuna, the Kyonga, and Luga Kamayo. But Niki Sema, where no one may have had ya. Yani Ata. In the Indian Kundani, our holy of holies. I feel I've touched the hem of Jesus. And the man of God comes. And he comes and prays. And only when the man comes does she give back the child. And she leaves the child with the man of God. And she goes. This vision must be left to God. You know, when I came here, half the time I used to think it's me. But the things that God has enabled me to do here, it cannot be me. Amen. It cannot be me. I am not qualified enough to do some of these things, Pastor. But God has been able to make sure I do it. And I love it because God has been able to make sure I do it, and I do it with humility. Because that's a thing I Ningese kama singekuja hapa kuwatembelea singekuwa hapa limbs kila siku na vijana na wamama kwa rorashio kwa api kwa matanga ningeambia watu nini What will I have done Because remember it's never yours it's just your turn yes. Yes. And on that point my dad called me one day and told me Ted don't be bitter Kazi imeisha ime but don't be bitter yes. Yes. And I received a vision the other day because simucheza draft waze saa zingine lazima upeane moja ndio ukule ngapi so if the king ameamua apeane moja akule tatu but achukue ile moja akuje yake juu ikuwe king ni sawa it is well it is well so do not be bitter do not be hateful they will bring for you a new person. Love him. 
support him. Yes. You don't know where your blessing is hidden. Amen. I just came here, I met a bishop. I'm a notary, can I do this? I do it. I kill him too, too many bishop. I did I don't even know anything about bishop. But through it to Bongia, Mamwegina last week, Tafanya Ipa Moja, to Fanya Ipa Moja, and I was uh, I was I was in my head, I was thinking, I told my wife is the head is a uh, the HR oh wait, 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 Makosa, Makosa. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Thomas Quaker to And I'm here with my lovely wife. Uh, please stand up and say hi. That is my lovely wife. She is Sheila. Um, Casey. And uh, I'd even forgotten, but today is our wedding anniversary. Yeah. So. Thank you, Bishop General. You saved me. I think she thought I was bringing her on like a holiday. Even the way you disappeared in So, what have you done for your mom? What has the fever? The old man who forgets, what has the fever? She walks away and leaves the man in the room with her dream. She trusts the dream with the man because. The man is the one who prayed the dream into being. I'm learning to give my dream back to God. Amen. I'm learning to live my dream with God. Amen. I never ever thought I'll be a diplomat and work internationally doing this. I thought it's me because I'm good with people. But I am learning to live my dream with God. Amen. Eric, I don't know what I'm going to do because I left Kenya. I sold everything of mine to zero. I know I've been disturbing you about a car. I've, I've, oh, babe, he's actually the one who gave me the car to use in Kenya. But I decided, you know what? It is okay. If it's God's will, then it's God's will. And there is no way. I asked you guys in the morning, what would have happened if the stone had missed Goliath, David would have been beaten properly with his brothers. But God would not allow his name to be ashamed. Think or not. The stone would have missed. Goliath would have stood up. But God decided So I leave in about three weeks time back to Kenya with my head high. Yes. Why? Because I know that there is a witness in Seattle yes. that kuna balozi alikuja na alifanya kazi. So that one I have no problem about. I know that people like Bishop Kujenga ukiongea mambo yangu karibu na yata kumaliza. I know Reverend here can speak and say, Uyu ni mtu yangu wawezi yongea junda ya juu yake. I know Pastor Pale Yuma. I know kuna maze, my lecturer at the university. But I miss kukuwa na degree. I was given a, a, a doctorate. I'm a doctor by, 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 by the seminary. Here. All these things, ladies and gentlemen, I know that there is history which has been written. So I'm at peace. Amen. I want you to be at peace too. Yes. All right? Yes. And I want us to work together. America Siwawachi, I'm brief. Next week too, Nikisha Maliza Tuivi, I will announce the next big thing which we're going to do with all of you. Yes. And I want you to join in. I want you to support. Yes. I want you to push. I want you to do everything that you need to do. Yes. Why? To the glory and honor of God. Amen. Finally, the child goes up. Yes. It does not matter what part or what level your dream is. Yes. It may look dead. Yeah. It may be dead not one day, two days, three days. Yes. What will people say? People can even say, oh, Ule Misha, Ule Amanda. Bishop Jenga, there is nobody who hates on other people who is above them. I have never seen that happen. 
Hating only happens people below. Me, I didn't know. I didn't know in general. Uh, but if they tell me stories like those ones, I'm going to work with you. We shall do that thing of ours, Pamoja. I'm going to support you if I can. I'm not as rich as Jeremy Demaris. But I know. I finished by telling you this. I need us to be a community that listens. Because shida ya wa Kenya ni hatujawa yona shida ya kutosha kushikana. Because kila mtu amekuja hapa Amerika kivyake. So ukisha ingia hapa, wewe unajua mimi ni mejileta ame? So nikusikize kwa nini? Wewe ni nani? Ni pesa yangu menileta hapa ama vile ni meingia huku na makara, ni mepata makara, ni mayonu we? So Kenyans do not know how to stick together. But also Kenyans suffer from a lack mentality. Kenyans feel that there is not enough for God to bless you and bless me at the same time. So if one person is rising, we decide ule awezi panda peke yake. Lazima tuvute ule mtu chini. Guys, let me tell you. In LA, there's a place called the Furniture District. There are like 30 shops which sell furniture. There's the Fashion District. A hundred shops which sell, which sell. There is enough for this and for more. How many students can you serve in a month? Give me. How many? In a month? 100. There are 11,764 Kenyans in Kent County, Pekiaki. <laughs> Wow. So we need another one. We need another one. We need another one. But the problem is, all of you are running. I get more kifika, kumvuta, and everything. You cannot do that. Same thing you're doing with churches. And I know because I've been here for two years. Mchungaji has in invite ni ubiri kwake kwa sababu anona dawato tenda kwa. So what we're doing is cannibalizing ourselves. That is why the vision of the community center is a good idea, but with this attitude, we shall take longer to reach there. The journey from Egypt to Israel is how many days? 40. But how many years did it take? Do you know why? Because these guys could not understand. Itakuaje. And that's why God took them round and round in circles, round and round in circles, round and round in circles. We need to break free from this thing. And then Bishop Jenga, listen, we need to do something else apart from home care. Yes. 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 We need people, we need people who are doing other things. Yes. My sister, when I come here next year, we need a school for auditors, for tax people. Just ask him, how do you set up a tax thing? He has a whole school downstairs. In the evening, you train people to do, learn to do tax. Okay? Eric, we need people to sell cars here. So that driving school, up on Yuma, unaingia to state, state, na credit yako, na sabaniko na credit, gari nda hiyo umetoka na unaenda na Let's do things which support the ecosystem. Apana pambana kila mtu kwa kitu moja, kitu moja, kitu moja. Apana! That is a wrong attitude. We need a Kenyan here with a bank. Yes. 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 A Kenyan was elected as a councilwoman on federal way. I am sorry, Hamku Pigia Kura Ninim Sipige Makofi. Ali English on our Somali, Wazungu, no Ethiopia. Ninam Kupigam Sipige Makofi. Nanim Kikuyu. I know how many votes were cast. You guys did not. Now, Kikuyu Mejapa for Ibarabara, Hamku Piga. Shame on you. Ah, 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 ignorance. It's never a defense. That is your own problem. When people come for my meetings, when we're giving out passports, at you, I didn't know passport. I tell them, no, it is your right. And you can't complain because I don't end up with a driving license. So, you can't get a DMV. You can't get a passport. 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 You can't get a visa. 
au upigane makelele pale hivyo ati uh, Marika ni ambasi ah pendeni a a mimi usiletee makelele so it can't be when it's me you want to talk but when it's these people you can't talk asha not me not when my watch we must break some of these things and speak openly i said finally but this is finally your children we have a crisis with our third generation children it can't be every time i'm coming to a, a siaro it's for a funeral it's for court it's for this mtoto amepotea kama sasa inaenda kutafuta mtu lucy thank god you've come i was going to call you we have somebody in some hospital nyinyo wote amjue kuna mkenya yuko hospitali amefungiwa huko we have a problem guys it can't be that for your kid to speak kiswahili au kikuyu anaona si cool wewe unaona si cool you're the one who's messing up everything we'll have a problem in a few years eric even with remittances these guys send the money because shosho is there uncle is there brother is there but when those guys pass away the generation kids hana uncle uko hana shosho hata tu mapesa there's no incentive hata zile mashamba mnanunua mnanunulia nani who your kids will go to those shamba shamba mawe uko kasarani uko sio wapi hayo ndi that's your own problem so what are you doing you have to rethink your mind we have to take these kids to kenya i will launch a program called the id project where we take kenyan kids to kenya waende waone vitu waone kila kitu wajue mali yao rika yao kila kitu so they can fall in love but also we have to stop talking rubbish about kenya Kenya listen America is Kenya which has gone to a private school msijidanganye hapa they have poor people here also it's dirty like Kenya America is just a normal country with systems Kenya is a normal country we're trying to develop systems so don't think you came to you didn't come to heaven it is the same same thing you're doing in Kenya same some of you was so think about it you can't tell your child wewe ukijifanya mtaji hapa ndakupeleka Kenya and then you think your child will go inherit that land kule Kenya unasema ni kama punishment aendange hata aenda so stop it don't talk down on Kenya don't talk down on our leaders your problem is every day ah hii serikali ya serikali serikali no you can't talk down on your leader and then expect your child to go to that same same country and support the country you already talked badly about it you can't kenya cannot be a dumping ground for people and for things yes i just want to make one baya and kenya na na make one baya and kenya no it can't be that way and even as a country we want to absorb the diaspora do you know why because umekuwa hapa umeona systems iki work You can bring them to Kenya and say no you know for healthcare sisi tuna take care of watu hivi 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 let's set up systems for 1 2 3 4 5 yes. you can go to the village and set up a home care uh, 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 school so to wash your show wana wana tumbo vizuri na family zao huyu kijana anasumbua because how many of us have aunties and uncles who take care of our show show lakini unataka take care the structure na njia ya home care guys come on it is your country whether you like it or you don't it is your country it is god's chosen land yes. Yes. Amen. i declare a blessing on all of you Amen. that you will take your dream and give it back to i had to do this thing a few weeks ago and give god back my dream and say you know what god nimekurudishia Bishop in the name of God the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit and the Bible says that I would have given up if I had not believed that I will see the goodness of the Lord in this the land of the living yes would have given up don't give up bish Just open another thing again. Open another school. And right now Enclex is in Kenya. 
So it means Bishop, that's an idea. Let's open an ad. Let's open a training school in Kenya. So that one of you is a part form four, one of you form five. Yeah, in place. One in the course system. Yes. California has a shortfall of 400,000 health workers. But we don't have a directory of all of you people. So we can't say, right now I tell you, we need people in California. It's not a directory. Nikipigia uh, Bish hata nipatia. Nikipigia ule home care yaki hata nipatia. So she has people who want to work. Hata sema. In Jesus name. May God bless you. In the night. May you be a pillar of fire. Yes. And in the day. May you be a cloud of shade over your head. Yes. In Jesus name. Amen. Asante the sun. Let me just declare a blessing on you. All of you guys as we stand up. And as I let Bish come and uh, just do the last two things, just lift up your hand and just, I want you to give your dream back to God. Let's do business with God. What's your chosen one? You see, I don't know about you. I, maybe you, you're God, but I need you to give your dream back to God. I need you to place your dream back to God. And you see, you never know. You might just be there thinking you are playing church here, but Jesus is passing through this place. Your opportunity is to touch the hem of his garment. Nobody's going to do it for you. And there's no protocol to touch his hem of his garment. In Jesus' name, I bless you for your people. And dear God, I feel your spirit in this room tonight. In Jesus' name, take our dreams. That our dreams will not die. Our dreams will not die in the name of Jesus Christ. For every man, woman, boy, or child in this room tonight, that Father God, you shall just rest right now and rest their case. I bless you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. You may be seated and let's do this thing again. Hallelujah. Asante, Son. Before, before you sit, we have a